Hello and welcome to the OGC community. All you need to do to join our beautiful family is hit the subscribe button, slam the thumbs up button on all the videos. Now let's go check out and see what Art of Conquest is all about. Hey, what's going on everybody? It is OGC here. Welcome to tonight's live stream. Uh, tonight we're going to have some fun. We are going to, uh, we're going to have a couple little guessing games. Uh, we're going to do Minds of Mayhem. I don't think we'll be able to do the Clash of Thanes tonight, uh, but hopefully sometime soon we will be able to. So the winner for the first com comment, uh, that is not me, uh, goes to Ar Artemis. So congratulations Artemis. Um, in second place, we had Is Mikey saying "Hey OGC." Then we had uh, Callie saying "Hello." Uh, we had Patel saying "H," uh, which I, I think is "Hi." So he "Hello, Patel." Uh, James is also here asking, "What realm uh, do we play?" I'm on 117. Uh, we also have I Love OGC Gaming, who has the greatest name in my personal opinion. Uh, so "Hello, I, I Love OGC Gaming." I love I love OGC Gaming. Uh, we also have uh, James here, uh, and we also have Katie G, and she said that she didn't win this time. Um, she won yesterday. It, it, it was quite the upset for the strange one. So um, today we'll jump in. Uh, I am here to answer questions, so if you guys have uh, questions that are related to Art of Conquest, feel free to ask if I have the answer. Um, I will... Uh, gladly share it share it with you if i don't then hopefully i can point you in the direction so that you can uh, go and find out the answer um and i i don't know i i have a decent amount of resources and uh pe people to to go to to ask so just feel free to let me know and i will try my best to to get the answer for you uh, just like for every Friday night, we're going to kick this one off with a wonderful little gift code. So this gift code, I will gladly and happily do the Fnatic Alphabet to help you guys out. This is going to be 5676K8Y3EK. Again, uh, phonetically, this is 5676Kilo8Yolo3EricKilo. I, I forget what E stands for. Uh, it can't be something like Echo. It has to be something like Eric. So I hope you guys get this code. If you get the code, feel free to let me know. I will be super happy um, if, uh, it, if, if you get the code. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, James said, what do we win? You get a chance of getting the gift code. You just need to be the fastest person to go and enter the gift code. As Mikey said, I have had not so good day and this is ma making my day. So yay. Uh, it's Mikey. I am super glad that um, you're, you're here, man. I, I'm sorry that, that you're having a rough day. Uh, 
I, I hope that this brightens up your, your day. That, that's kind of the point of all this. If there's one person watching and it can kind of change their outlook for, for that day, um, that means the world. Uh, so KVG said, uh, do you get the codes every week? Um, yes. Yeah, yes, yes, I do. Uh, so that is our, our gift code. So while, uh, while I wait for some questions, I'm just going to go work, work on uh, dailies for my alt account before we do my my mayhem. So if you guys have questions, uh, feel free uh, to ask and I will do my best to, to answer. Um, for the question from, I, I think that was uh, uh, Callie that asked, uh, they, they asked what, what realm uh, are, are we in as far as our main account is 117. So we're in realm 117. So we're just going to go and uh, bang out some, some dailies on the alt count. We'll see if there's a good dragon here. I, I don't know if I can... Okay, I have some stuff so we can start working on ruling uh, the, the dragon for this. So if we have a good dragon, we can actually start to uh, roll it. Ooh, we got some snipers. Nothing wrong with having that extra snipers on the alt count. Uh, pardon me just for one moment. All right, so it looks like I cleared everything out earlier uh, for this uh, for for this particular account. So we'll go and we will do this uh, one manually because we need to unlock everything. That way we can actually do our dailies. Tristan here is saying, "How long till the the Thanes games? Um, as soon as I can find somebody to to go up against uh, for the Thanes." Um, uh, Katie started building Thanes, but she's not in our minds. Uh, Taint did not register for mines, so I cannot go up against Taint, um, unfortunately. Uh, and I think the only person that I know of that's in the same mines as me is Crazy King J, and uh, he has not um, built the Thanes yet. Shockingly, guys, the Thanes actually take like over one hour for each silver troop. Uh, it's pretty crazy. There's 15 per unit, so that's about 15 hours. Uh, just to create um, one unit of Thanes. So I'm hoping that next week we'll actually have uh, more people for the Thanes games. I'm still going to go out and test my formation in the Minds of Mayhem. Uh, worst case scenario, uh, we lose a fight. Best case scenario, we win going up against uh, somebody using Thanes. And I mean, that's pretty much the greatest accomplishment you can possibly get in Art of Conquest. KG said, rank your top three heroes now uh, in general, since I know we had people asking in the OGC chat yesterday. Uh, so if I had to rank the top three uh, heroes, I would go, uh, uh, it, it would actually be pretty, uh, it would be pretty, um, pretty simple. I would go with Bazrix as number one. Uh, Nora with the true ruby as number two and Jax as number three. I know that some people might not pick Jax as number three. Uh, I still think, and maybe some of this is because I'm a slightly older player, uh, there's that sentimental uh, value that I have on Jax where even if, um, even if Jax gets nerfed or something, he's been such a staple DPS hero for so long in Art of Conquest, I can't exclude him because of that. So I, I would have to include Jax in, in my top three. So I would go with Bazrix, Nora, and Jax. Uh, in, you can see a trend there because they're all really impactful damage dealing heroes. So I think if I had to look at it from the support end, I would, I would consider, or like non-giant DPS heroes, I, I think for either utility heroes or uh, for support type of heroes, I think I would have to do Floras, and I, I think the higher level you are, the more important Floras is. Uh, I would have to include o Ophidia, um, because I, I think Ophidia, al although she does a ton of damage, it's still, uh, uh, it, it's still really, she's really strong. At early levels, as soon as you get the Ring of Ragnar, uh, Ophidia is massive, um, and then at higher, higher levels, when you uh, get like a three, four, five star codex, like, like the pay twin one, Ophidia is still like, she's huge. She's a staple. 
Uh, Elena is also up there as well because you need that magic resist. 55% magic resist is huge. Uh, so Katie is asking me for uh, heroes from the chest, so that means no Nora. <laughs> Uh, so if I had to get rid of Nora, I would I would still go with Bazrix. I think Bazrix is uh, number one, uh, no, no matter what, no no matter how you uh, no matter how you cut it, Nora. It I mean uh, Bazrix is number one. You will notice you can accomplish things in the void and in the game uh, once you get Bazrix, as opposed to not having Bazrix. He's just super impactful. I think. Uh, number two, so if I had to exclude Nora, and I'm, I am assuming excluding Jax because you can't get him from the chest, I would probably go with Bazrix, Ophidia, although if you're a brand new player, don't worry about Ophidia, but Bazrix, Ophidia, and Elena. I, I it, It's tough. I, I would almost want to do Denji, uh but I, I think I'd have to go with the, uh, Elena personally. So I would go with Bazrix, um, Ophidia, and Elena. That's if I'm not including Jax and Nora. The, the reason why for, uh, for Elena, it's all about that magic resist. For uh, Bazrix, he, he's kind of a no-brainer for, for a top pick. And for uh, Ophidia, again, as soon as you go to Drake and you get the Ring of Ragnar, uh, and you throw that on the Ophidia, she's just going to crush everything, especially at first. And then uh, even later on, she's she can take take down dragons single-handedly. Like, she is no joke. All right, so we are on our last one for here. And uh, Katie's saying talk, talk as well because he's good for everyone. Uh, so, so, sorry guys, um, it's been a long day and every time I feel like I need to cough, I, I'm just muting everything because you guys do not want to listen to me cough. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let, let's go collect this stuff real quick and go see some, some of the other uh, questions that came up. Um, let's see, we need one more thing to deliver. Uh, so, Rimal is here saying, hey OGC, how's it there? Things are going uh, extremely well. Uh, th thank you for asking, man. Um, let's see here. We also have uh, James saying, what's the Thanes game? So the Thanes game is a mini game that we are introducing into Art of Conquest for people that are interested. Um, <clears throat> it's probably not going to take off. It's uh, just kind of more for fun with, with like a group of friends. And the whole idea is you are only allowed to use Thanes and Siege units. Uh, the only heroes that you can deploy is Grimm's, Vega, um, Elena, Avalon, and uh, there, there's one more. Um, I'm, I'm blanking on what the, what the other one is right now, but they're all very passive heroes. So the heroes are not going to win the fights. Um, it's all for fun, uh, nothing serious at all. Just to kind of sp spice the game up a little bit, and maybe, uh, maybe, just maybe, we'll make it so that things get a giant buff. Layman Serms is here saying sup, so nice to see you, man. And James is asking, is Raxius good to go uh, for and level up and put magic cards on Raxius? So Raxius is a really interesting hero. Um, Raxius can really so if, if you're Lich, yes, uh, just just uh, just just straight up yes. There, there's no getting around it for Raxius with Lich because uh, Raxius offers. <coughs> Raxius offers a lot of uh, extra bonuses for Lich because for Lich, all of his lanterns are twice as effective uh, for skeletons. So your war warlocks are just going to get giant boosts. Uh, so you cannot go wrong with Raxius for Lich. For other races, I, I think Raxius, uh, Raxius will really shine once you're able to get the Clash Fate set for Raxius. Uh, upon getting the Clash Fate set for Raxius, neither a 2-star Solaris or a 3-star uh, Hourglass, 
I think Raxius can then all of a sudden be very offensive with his sons, and because uh, of his sons and the nature in which his abilities work, I think he's able to add a lot of offense as well as uh, being able to uh, stun up the enemy. So between his attack speed increase lantern, uh, between uh, having essentially three instant cast stuns, that all adds up uh, quite a bit for uh, Raxius. Uh, so I think Ra Raxius is very good, but you can also get him uh, for free from, from doing the void. So that, that's always a good thing. Katie said, James, uh, we build th things and trying to fight each other with just things in mind. Um, yeah, so this is what, what happens when you get bored on Art, Art of Conquest. Uh, and Katie said, talk is good for everyone. Uh, and uh, Callie said, what about uh, Cezeo? And Katie said, he's uh, up there to Cezeo, pretty, pretty solid uh, in her opinion, but I don't think I'd uh, even put him in top 10 for sure. So many support heroes, way more useful than Cezeo. So uh, I, I'm on Katie's page. Um, I think that Cezeo is good. Uh, I've seen Cezeo do ridiculous damage. I don't think Cezeo is like, insanely great when he first came out i had really high expectations for him based off of his uh skills and abilities uh however in practice i i, I just don't see it and maybe may, maybe that that's my fault because i'm not willing to put a prism on him uh some people will put the uh devastating strike prism on him and they seem like they do a lot more damage i'm not willing to take a, a main prism and actually put it onto Cezeo. so i think because of that my Cezeo is held back a little bit and um <clears throat> i i think he could be better uh but he's uh he, he's not so i i don't have a huge um I, I don't know. Cezeo isn't anything special to, to me. So I, I would not necessarily put him up there. Now at lower levels of play and like mid-level mid of play, I don't know how Cezeo is doing. I'm sure that he's doing better because his giant shuriken that he throws out is probably going to do a lot more damage. Uh, but for where, where I'm at, Cezeo is good. And I think situationally he, he's really good. But I chose to pull my Cezeo out to put Cleo in. And uh, I, I do not regret that decision at all. All right, so let's see how we are doing with the activity stuff so far. And uh, collect a couple more little things for our quests. And uh, we'll go see if we, we can find a, uh, a dragon or two to roll on this account. Katie said, yes, uh, but it's meaningful damage. Uh, you've seen what, what the damage my Solaris did with the prism and it wasn't that impactful at all. Yeah. So, and maybe maybe tonight I'll, I'll have time to actually uh, show you exactly what Katie means by the meaningful damage, uh, because I, I think that's a term that is, uh, I, I think we kind of like coined that on, on, on this channel. So I stand by it where the stats in the uh, PvP replays don't necessarily reflect the actual usefulness of the heroes themselves. Uh, so you can get a hero that has, um, ooh, look at all that good stuff. You, you can get a hero that looks like they did a ton of damage, but in reality, they did absolutely nothing. So James said, uh, with Gladiator Games, uh, what is the best purchase in the shop? I have one artifact and no prisms. Uh, so Katie said, get the prisms for sure. Prisms are very powerful and absolutely needed. I agree. If I come on my alts and I go into the store, the only thing I have purchased so far is the prisms. So if you guys are doing the Colosseum or Gladiator games, uh, whichever they're, they're called now, uh, the first thing that I would prioritize is the prisms. Personally, I would pick the prism over the artifact. Uh, obviously get both if you're missing some, some of the artifacts. I think for my alt count, we're, we're missing some, some of the artifacts, but I would do the prism first. Uh, the prisms are, are huge, and it looks like we're still ganging about one per month. So because of that, you're going to want to uh, get as many of the prisms as, as you possibly can. And it looks like we can even get in and, and do a fight with our, our alt account. <laughs> all right, let's see how, how we do. Um, all right, so we are missing some stuff. Uh, so we will throw out some more skeletons. And, ooh, actually, uh, let's get our gold ones out there. <clears throat> I 
So here we go. This is a 1 million core power alt account going up against uh, probably a 500k alt account. So far, it lo lo looks like we, we are doing pretty good. We got to get our placement up higher so we can get more artifacts on this account. Yeah, so Ramal said Prism, Red, and Pink Books in Rush. Yeah, and, and it all depends on where you're at in the game. If you need Chakra stuff, then sure, go go for the Chakra stuff. Um, absolutely, make, make sure that, that you get the, uh, the, the Prism. Uh, if you're missing artifacts, make sure you get that artifact as well. So the rune stones are actually super expensive. They are 25 and all you get is one, one rune stone. So uh, personally, uh, I would set this kind of down on the scale of importance just because uh, by getting the rune stone, you, you could have gotten so many other things. And I think that there's plenty of other ways to acquire rune stones in the game right now. For the uh, tomes and the sutra scrolls, uh, if you're desperate, I would go for those. Um, if you're desperate for your dragon, get the dragon stuff. Absolutely make sure that you get all of the 30 minute rush. And the alchemy stones, I would personally just skip those all, all together. Uh, everything else I would spend on, on the troop rush. I'll show you on my main account afterwards uh, what I did for, for purchases there. Um, let's just go collect all, all the stuff real quick and then we can hop off here and I can show you exactly what I did on, on my main account. <laughs> In one second though, because we have a couple of these to open up. Uh, I want, I'm trying to get uh, level six. Um, ooh, we have a bunch of stuff in here. I'm trying to get a level six Warlocks on, on this account, um, just because wh why not? Um, why not do it on an alt account? This is one, one of those alt accounts that is not a bad account. I just, uh, I'm not super uh, good at staying on top of it all. Um, I'm not a good good alt player. Some people are like very perfect with all of their alt play. I am not blessed to be one of those individuals. All right, so we'll go grab these real quick. That that's really all, all I uh, wanted and intended to do today on the, this account. Uh, we can also come on in and see if we can upgrade some, some of the stuff. So it looks like we can. We will boost this guy up. Uh, we got him up a little bit higher. Uh, not quite perfect, but that's okay. And we'll also go grab the Silverwing collection. Now, as far as dragons on, on, on this account, uh, we can, uh, well, first of all, let's get some more Dragonic uh, because you cannot go wrong with uh, Dragonic. And I went with the protection first. As soon as this uh, gets, gets to the point where I can actually uh, get one on end, I'll, I'll reset it and go for for the affliction. All right, so this is what we have. Wow, we have a ton of eggs. Oh my god! All right, let's see. Let's see what what we can get going. So we're going to release uh, a bunch of these dragons um, that we do not have use for. All right, that should be enough to, to get us by. So for this account, uh, we're going to start off with the onyx because I would like an onyx with the black holes. So we did not get an onyx with the black holes. Uh, we currently have one that does have it. So I think as a secondary dragon, uh, I would kind of like an emerald, N not gonna lie. All right, so that one uh, will not help us. Uh, so we're going to try for the other emerald, see if there's one here that, that we can get. All right, and that one does not have it either. All right, so I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to come into our dragon and we're going to do a couple rolls on this. Uh, so, <laughs> Hopefully we don't mess up. Uh, we are not going for a perfect dragon. I, all I want is uh, Cosmic Storm. Oh my gosh, we got rid of External Void. All right, so that one hurt. That one hurt quite quite a bit. So let's get the scales now. Uh, oh my gosh. All right, so we do not have the same type of luck uh, this time with it. So we're just going to leave that guy there and we're going to move on. Um, <laughs> We did not have the same type of luck for this one. All right, so I think, uh, I don't think we can afford to keep going with, with the dragon stuff for this account. So we'll jump onto the main account and I will show you guys what I did for the purchases for the Gladiator games. 
Uh, so R Ramal said Prism Red Book. Uh, it's Mikey said um, they lost their account and they had to start one and they have 500k core and their defense power is 480k. Wow. Okay, so so you have a pretty powerful defense. Ramal said I uh, have 3 million alchemy stone. I spend all into rush and building rush. Um, that 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 is really really good. KDG said that she was lich before she was dwarf, now she's human. Uh, and James said, if we were to get an artifact, uh, which should I get in Coliseum? I'm level 25 castle with uh, Bazarix and Denji. Uh, so, uh, James, which artifacts uh, do you have and which ones are you missing from, from, from the Coliseum? Uh, be because uh, it would help, help to answer that to, to know what, what you have and what, what, what you're missing. So this is, uh, we are back onto the main account, and if we come to check out the Coliseum, you guys can see, uh, so I I did buy all the rune stones on this one, uh, and we bought all of the tech rush, and the only other thing that we've purchased is the troop rush. Um, so I guess uh, in the moment I felt like I needed more rune stones, so I spent 250 points there. That could have been 25 hours of troop rush. Uh, so I skipped all the dragon stuff. I have plenty of dragon stuff. The chakra stuff, this 30 points right here, that could be, uh, what is that? That could be three hours of rush or one tomb. So to me, where I'm at, I decided to go with the three hours of rush. I have all the, the prisms and for the artifacts, uh, I have all the artifacts. So James said that he has none of the artifacts here. So if we look at the different artifacts that are available to us, we can see that we have the Edge, we have the Sable, Origin Stone, uh, Leo's Pride, the Hero Reflection, I think that one is. Uh, nope, so that's the, the Troop, Troop Reflection one. Uh, we also have uh, the Sun Flare, we have the Valkyrie's Banner, and we have the Guy's Hammer. So uh, this is the basic rundown on e what each one of these basically does is at five stars, the edge will allow your hero to be resurrected when it gets skilled. Effectively, this gives them twice as much health. Uh, the staple and the sun flare, these two offer a lot of uh, bonus uh, attack damage. Uh, those are like your Jax and Nora type, type of artifacts. You will want both of those uh, eventually for your Jax and Nora. Origin Stone is pretty much the best thing uh, in the game to protect your dragon outside of just killing the enemy's troops. Uh, it will put a ring down on the ground. It will heal by percent max health. The higher level you are, the more and more effective the Origin Stone becomes. Leo's Pride. Uh, Leo's Pride is... Um, this is a staple for Rufio because once this is maxed out, the hero will emulate a, uh, I guess it's like an aura, it's like a pulse. And it comes out and it does a ton of damage, it scales based on the hero's attack and the level of the artifacts and everything. Um, and it will do that every 10 seconds for the first 30 seconds of battle. This on Rufio is a very strong combination. Um, it gets stronger once you hit cast level 40 and you can get uh, tier four arcane mastery for the hero mastery. Uh, at lower levels, this can be good, but it's not as great as later on. The, this mirror will actually duplicate your troops as long as they are not trees or anything crazy like that. Uh, so you can essentially get like 36 more bronze supply worth of troops. Uh, so if that's archers, uh, 36 more would be like 18 more snipers uh, along with having higher attack speed. Uh, that, that's pre pretty solid. That actually helps out quite a bit in the void and for sieging. Gaia's Hammer, I would just skip this one or put this one for last, personally. It is nice, but it adds uh, more offense and defense for that individual hero the longer the fight goes. So I, I think that one's probably the least impactful. Uh, the Valkyrie's Banner is actually super good for Sol sides. It will offer a lot of uh, defense uh, as, far, uh, as far as like additional health and everything else for the troops, the melee troops near that hero. So if I had to pick one of these, which is a really tough question, geez. Uh, so if I was to start over and I ha had to pick one, I would either go with uh, the Leo's Pride uh, for, for Rufio. 
Um, I would either do the Leo's Pride or I would either pick the Sable or Sunflare. I I think the Sunflare is is uh, slightly better just because of the bonus range um, than than the Sable. I think the Sable offer offers more straight up damage for the hero that's on. The Sunflare offers more damage for the hero, um, not as much as the Sable, but it also offers bonus attack range, which will keep the hero uh, hopefully alive a little bit longer. So it depends on if you're, if you want to bring up uh, Rufio higher. And please keep in mind that especially for early and mid part of the game, Rufio is mostly a PvP hero. Uh, it's not until later in the game that Rufio can like do major things in the void and in everything else. Um, that's not saying that he's useless. It's just his primary function. He, he's a PvP type type of hero. Um, versus the Sable and the Sunflare will help you in all aspects of, of the game. So. I, I would take a pick if you want to go offensive with your Gladiators, Leo's Pride. If you want offensive with your Jax or Nora, um, I would pick the Sunflare or the Sable. I will say if you have a true Ruby and a Nora, then just go with the Sunflare. Uh, I, I guess that's what I would do. If I had a true Ruby and a Nora as a newer player, I would pick the Sunflare first and, and get that and level that up. If once you get that, uh, then I would probably probably do the Leo's Pride uh, followed by the the Sable for Jax, assuming that you're spending to get Jax, which I think that is a total of like ten USD. Uh, so Jack Jax really it, it is not that bad early on. So uh, we have another code code for you guys. So get your fingers uh, ready. And if you guys get the code, feel free to let me know in the chat. I will remove myself just for one second. So And this code is 562TGDU5UC. So first person that enters this code will get this code. They will get a sizable amount of Lenari and potions and everything else. If you got this code first, please let me know in the chat and I will congratulate you. Uh, so phonetically, this is 562Tango Golf Delta. OGC girl, what's you? Uniform five, uniform Charlie. That's actually, did I, did I get it right? Yeah. All right, cool. So the proper way of saying it is five, six, two, tangerine, wow. Dromino, Doug, universe five, U, as in the letter U, not Y, and C for Chuck. <laughs> oh my God, somebody out there that loves the phonetic alphabet probably hates me so much. Uh, so who got the code? Uh, we are all dying to know. R Ramal just just asked everyone. Um, so yeah, for the Coliseum, the Coliseum is actually quite quite a bit of fun. I personally like the Coliseum uh, quite quite a bit. Uh, we can see we we ate a major loss right here. Uh, so if we look at our snipers, we have 1.8 million attack on our snipers. We lost to somebody that has uh, two million uh, attack. Um, so this guy is. Uh, he is a, a little bit stronger than us. It looks like they have nine star snipers. Uh, so they're right around the same as us. Uh, and their mechs are uh, also ju just about the same. But they have way higher higher health. They have like a million higher health on the, on their mechs. So, oh, they have a castle level up on us. So if, if we look at their Onyx Dragon, their Onyx Dragon is 59, we're 58. So this guy has us beat by a, a castle level. Our Nora and our Cypress actually did significant damage to them, um, and our Cezeo actually did uh, pretty good for tanking. So let's uh, let's go check out our, our loss in the, the Coliseum. So this looks like an inverted Coliseum fight, which is pretty much the most exciting thing in the game. You can see our Nora is uh, just doing a ton of damage with our Jax. Uh, Rufio leaps in, of course. Uh, now he should be doing a spin any second. Blow up all of the heroes in the middle, which is fantastic. Our dragon, so our dragon went a little haywire and he went running really, really far up. 
It actually looks like we're, we're doing good at this this point in time. Um, our dragon is still up. Uh, we still have plenty of mechs tanking. Oh, wait. I, I'm sorry. I thought we, we were the yellow player. All right, so we're doing really bad. Uh, now that I'm seeing this from, from our angle, their dragon moved really far up. Um, that is uh, absolutely terrifying. All right, yeah, so that, that guy kicked our butt. Uh, Katie said to fight her. Um, I don't see Katie, so what we'll do is we'll hop in. Uh, we'll find somebody, and we'll do a quick fight. Maybe we'll get paired up uh, against Katie, and we can go do our best uh, up against Katie. Uh, so this player looks like a dwarf player as well. So this is power side on power side. Our dragon's are probably going to match. Uh, so, yep, it, it is matched. We started off with the Cleo's Black Hole because uh, the AI is a wonderful thing. Both Rufio's uh, leapt in. Uh, Enemy's Nora is actually getting a ton of damage deep on our snipers on that top side. Uh, luckily, we are able to somewhat break through. Oh, no, they started to break through. Um, now they are wrapping around. Uh, so the protection proc came out from, from our dragon. Most of our stuff is down. So this guy is actually going to end up beating us. Uh, so... Uh, fantastic job to this guy. The uh, This was a 100% skill win on their end uh, because uh, Colosseum. So uh, RNG from Dwarf in random AI skills. This is uh, the, the most exciting uh, thing I've ever ever done. So uh, I think we're going to drop down in our points quite, quite a bit. Uh, so we might have to win one so that we have a chance of getting paired with uh, KDG. Uh, so Mah Muhammad is here. Hello, Muhammad. Uh, Ramal tried the code, but uh, somebody got to the code before Ramal. Uh, Muhammad said uh, 29 minutes going until not uh, mines. Mikey said they have 19 minutes. Um, all right, so let's go find uh, somebody else. We need to get back up there so we can try going up against uh, Katie. She said that she hasn't done any fights, so she shouldn't be too high. Uh, so let's try this out. I still want to place as high as I can because uh, I want all of that troop rush. I think I only have uh, 110 days of troop rush right now, and uh, I want more. All right, so this one was much uh, much better. We just completely collapsed their power side. It took down their, their dragon. We still have ev everything up. So this one was a much better uh, attack, so I, I am happy with that. James said, what do the codes do and how do you get them? So the codes will actually give you Lenari. They'll give you uh, potions and rune stones. I, I'm assuming I've never redeemed one, one of these codes. Uh, so I have no idea what, what they give outside of uh, a few hundred Lenari. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, we, we get the codes. Um, for uh, content. So Lilith will actually send us a, a few codes to send out at, at, every week. Uh, so where is uh, where is Katie? All right, so Toby's in 10th, uh, Kraken's in 12th, which, which is awesome. Uh, Booms, 116. Uh, Katie, what, 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 what's her rank at? We got Duck, the Bulls, Ares, um, LS, Sonia. I was going to say, Katie has to be higher up than this. Uh, Super Bob, Curry, LRBG. Okay, so Katie's ranked 54. So I think if we can win a, another fight, then we will go up against Katie. Oh my god, Katie, we can do Thanes on Thanes. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Lewis the Pain said, is talk good for Lich? Talk is good for every single race out there. Uh, you cannot go wrong with with talk. Um, every, every, everybody needs to talk in their life. All right, so this one should be a pretty easy win. They had so many mechs out there, uh, and snipers will just eat right through them. So this should be a flawless win for us. <clears throat> And then uh, maybe we can do a Thanes on Thanes fight uh, against Katie, which would, would be amazing. Oh my gosh, we could get our first Clash of Thanes fight in Coliseum. Oh my god. All right, so we finally took down this player's uh, Slaris. Let's see if we get matched up with Katie. We should be right around her rank now. All right, uh, and was that flawless? Yes. Okay, good. 
All right, so no kitty there. No, kitty. All right, so she, I think she was 54, so now is she... Uh, she said that she was going to drop down, but we moved up. So there's Allerbin in everyone. Uh, there's Michael. Oh, Adina's there too. All right, so we might need Katie to come up. All right, so she's rank 101 now. Um, still slightly too far away. James said talk is must have for Rockin, uh, though Rockin is only good for alt accounts. Rockin is pre pretty sneaky. Um, Rockin seems like they are either uh, really, really good or uh, really, really bad. It, there's no like mediocre Rockin player. They're like either over, over the top and somehow they win or they just lo lose horribly. It doesn't make a ton of sense to me. Uh, why or, or how it's like that um but it, it just kind of kind of is uh so uh we'll see if if kitty goes back back up in rank i'm pretty sure she she would be able to and just what what one, one attack and then we'll, we'll try and find her um otherwise I, I can show you guys the the formation um oh she's she's winning a fight right now uh so and if kitty can attack us too we can set up our formation for for things um we can get our very first ever Clash of Thanes fight. Uh, we can start the uh, we can start the scoreboard. Um, that that would be wild. Oh, we killed the dragon. All right, let's go see what what goodies we we got from the dragon chest. And it looks like we got two two rune stones. So that that, that that's pretty cool. I will gladly take those rune stones. Uh, and we can go put those uh, rune stones in, and uh, yeah, see if um, see if we are close to completing any new temples. Uh, so it looks like we're still pretty far off on a lot of the temples, uh, which is so somewhat uh, expected. Um, do we start with that one? Nope. All right, that one we brought up a little bit. This one. All right, they're starting to get close. Now we have the power and courage. Uh, so let's come on over and see if we can find a power and courage. Uh, let's see here. All right, that one is not that, and that one is not that. All right, so it must be over here. Gotcha. All right, so that's now up to 1,100, and this one is... Okay, th that one's getting higher. All right, cool. Undertaker said, uh, hello, OGC, nice to join you. Well, thank you for being here, on Undertaker. And if anybody out there has any, any questions at all about Art of Conquest, uh, I will do my absolute best to try and an answer your questions. Uh, while we're live, sometimes um, I'll get really good questions asked me in, in the comment section of videos. And sometimes it, it can be really hard to try and answer it while typing the answer in the comment section on, on my phone. So uh, now is like uh, the, the time for you guys, if you guys do have um, uh, questions about the game. Uh, so Katie is asking us about our rank in the Coliseum. So right now we're rank 40 somehow. Uh, so we, we are at 40. I want to see if Katie moved uh, clo closer to us. Uh, she, she intentionally lo lost a fight, which, which dropped her down. Uh, and we, we won a fight, so we kind of we, we kinda flipped. I'm going to see if we can get closer to Katie so we can do things on things. So it looks like uh, Sonia's up there. Good, good. Uh, so... Uh, Curry's there. Okay, so Katie's at 55. We're, we're at 40. Um, so we are getting somewhat close to, to Katie. I'll do one more pairing. Oof. Uh, okay, I lied. We're going to do one more after that. <laughs> All right, so we are not close to, to Katie for, for right now. So Spider said, OGC, show us your, your main dragon, please. Uh, absolutely. Um, let me just go send this stuff out re real quick and then we can go check, check out the dragon. So, uh, my main dragon right now, it is, uh, not a, uh, divine one. It is, 
uh, a legendary dragon. This is a legendary onyx. We actually rolled it together on live stream. Um, and we have uh, Blessed Hero Predation, which, which is needed for pretty much any PvP oriented dragon. Hero Pred is just uh, too important to pass up. Uh, as far as the dragon specific skills, the Onyx has a scales. So, scales on a dragon is pretty important. Uh, I have an Azur dragon and it does not have scales and I think that I can get away with that. It's legendary. If, if it was divine, I would have scales on it. But one of the big reasons why scales is so important for an Onyx dragon is the scales for an Onyx when it's blessed will do 20% more uh, uh, damage, um, which, which is huge. Uh, so, uh, sorry, I'm trying to move something and it's not moving. So I'm just gonna do this. And uh, now it does have both black holes, so it has the three hole punch along with the uh, eternal void, and it has the three damaging abilities, which is arcane blessing, uh, magic swell, and uh, an energy pulse. Those three things are absolutely huge. Uh, so Ramal is asking that uh, we don't have cosmic storms, roll it for eternal void. I would love to do that, man, uh, but my luck is I would replace Hero Pred. And, I'm working on trying to get another Onyx Dragon uh, so I can do that with. But for right now, that is what we have there. We also have, um, I guess we, we need to deploy this one. We also have uh, our Research Dragon, and this one has the three yellows. Uh, two of them are blessed. The, the two that are blessed are the ones that are supposed to be blessed, and we have the four purple. So nothing too crazy there, although I do love that dragon. And finally, with the dragon armor, we have our Azur dragon. So our Azur dragon has Hero Pred, which, which is uh, needed for PvP. Uh, we have Primal Wills, Noble Blood. Uh, every Azur dragon needs Noble Blood. We also have uh, Cosmic Storm and the three damage abilities. Now for this one, uh, based on the current meta, I think that the scales would be better than the Primal Will because uh, with the Snipers and the Warlocks right now, the dragon does... The dragon can't really sustain throughout the fight, they just kind of die. So the Primal Will isn't as uh, impactful as it once was. So Spider asks, uh, I thought you had a perfect Onyx Dragon, what happened? What happened was uh, I tried to roll, um, <laughs> I tried to roll uh, Cosmic Storms to replace Fatal Blows and I replaced Hero Pred. Uh, so that was a very, very sad day. Um, Muhammad said, can you show us the Advanced Coliseum? Um, I can't get into the, the Advanced Col Coliseum right now, uh, but it looks like we would be ranked 102. I didn't try super hard in the uh, Advanced Col Coliseum. Um, it looks like we, we, we did get a nice... Uh, uh, nice win going up against one of the eggs. So that's uh, that, that's pretty awesome. They, they lost coming up against us. Um, I will gladly take that all day. Uh, let's see here. The next one is Alex saying, what troops do you recommend for, for new players? Um, Ian Undertaker said, I am at uh, 60, 50 points in tower. Uh, what is your point level? Maybe we will meet there, OGC. Um, Undertaker, if you have 6,050 points in the tower, that is uh, super impressive uh, because I think you would be above number one in the world. Uh, for the dual tower, I have uh, 4,100 points. I made it up into the 4,200 range uh, and then instead of stopping, I decided to keep playing because I wanted practice and I dropped down points. Uh, as long as I hit that threshold, I didn't really care um, if that makes sense. So for Alex's question about what to what what troops to focus on, I think it really depends on what what race you play. And uh, ooh, Kate, Katie found me. Uh, she wants me to set things. Uh, one second, guys. One one second. Uh, I need to go on in and uh, change my defense real real quick. And we're going to go with. Uh, okay. 
We're going up against Katie. Uh, she's going to attack us in uh, <laughs> in Coliseum. This is going to be the first time that we do a Clash of Thanes fight, uh, which I think is absolutely awesome. We're going to try something out going going up against Katie. So uh, let's see here. We're going to go with a bunch of those. I even made one gold cannon, which I think I think the gold cannon. Uh, could be super super impactful. This that might be the the secret to our victory. All right, and actually, can I get rid of them all all together and bring that there, and then bring that to there? Does does that work? All right, now for heroes. For heroes, we we can do uh, Avalon, Elena, Grimm's talk, Vega. All right, so Avalon. Uh, Elena, which we're frontlining Elena. Avalon, Elena, Grimm's Vega Talk. Grimm's uh, Vega Talk. So we got Grimm's, where is Vega? And now we need, uh, now we just need Grimm's. Okay, th th there's Grimm's. All right, so I think what we're going to do for this All right, all right, cool, cool. I feel not super confident with this, uh, but this is what this is what we're we are going for. Uh, Katie, uh, when you when you do this, Katie, make sure that uh, none of your heroes have summoning. So no no summoning archers uh, or cavalry for your Avalon or. Um, uh, Elena, okay. So, so no, no summoning. That that otherwise, whatever troops we summon are just going to win the fight. And uh, I am ready for you. So feel free to attack whenever. No summoning on the Elena or Avalon. And I look forward to our Thane on Thane fight, Katie. All right. So, oh, okay. So Undertaker's at uh, forty fifty. Uh, so yeah, uh, good chance I'll, I'll end up going up against you, Undertaker. Please take it easy on me. Uh, I'm not really good, good at the game. <laughs> uh, Ramal said, OGC name uh, that formation as Thanes. It will uh, save forever at Coliseum. Oh, okay. Let, let's do it. So we're going to do this, and then we're going to go there. And we're going to go with Thanes. Dun, dun, dun. Do we have everything? Okay, we, we do. We do. Katie knows my formation. That is okay. K Katie can know it. I have absolute faith in my Thanes, guys. So Spider said, I already have all the heroes. What type of chest should I open with my hero coins? 5, 16, 42, or the 105? Uh, personally, I do the five ones, the mithril chest. That is the, the ones that I, I usually go for. Um, so I have found, uh, th there's a member named Paradox that actually did the math out statistically for what will give you the most amount of hero skins. And based on like a 0.01% more, uh, you'll get more out of the mithril chest. So that being said, let's go do some chests together. Uh, let's go open up, um, how many is this? Uh, this would be, we have 39, um, we have 39 mithril chests. We will open up all 39 mithril chests. I want you guys to guess in the, uh, in, in the chat. Let me know how many hero scrolls you guys think we will get out of 39 mithril chests. I'll, I'll wait a moment while everyone uh, put, puts out their, their guesses. I'm going to go with, I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to say 10. So out, out of 39 mithril chests, I'm going to guess that we get 10 hero scrolls. Or, or like the skin scrolls. Oh, Muhammad is ahead of us. It's 7 a.m. in the morning there. Jeez, man. Well, good, good day. So Ramal went with 12, Spider went with 22. Spider, I hope you are right, man. I would be so happy with 22. Alex went with 13. Uh, Muhammad went with 15. 
Undertaker also went with 15. Okay, there we go. We got uh, Angelo going with nine. All right, so let's go see how many we get out of 39 chests. It's Mikey said eight. All right, and I, what, what did I say? Uh, I went with um, 10. All right, so first one, we got none. None out of the second one. It's a rough start. All right, none out of the third. None out of the fourth. We're actually, this is not good. At least give me one so that I know it's working. <laughs> Watch it all be bugged out. Oh, there we go, we got two, we got two. All right, we're on the board. Come on, give us three out of this one. All right, I'm, I'm glad we got two in one chest. That kind of helps with, with the odds. All right, we're up to three. And if you guys are curious, uh, for the skin scrolls, I think it's on the bottom. It's a 6.7% chance, so uh, yeah, it's, it's not the best. So we have three so far. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh. I hope that we get at least 10. If we get 10, we would be beating the, the average. I think the odds would be around eight or nine. So far though, our luck is subpar. So we're still at three, which is really not good. Uh, we're getting a bunch of crafting stuff. So Tristan said, whoever is closest um, without going over wins. All right. So, so far it's Mikey is, is in, he's in the lead because, uh, oh no, I'm sorry, Tristan is in the lead because he said six. And we're, we're at three, three uh, skin scrolls so far. This is so bad. Oh my gosh, so we're pretty much halfway through. Okay, we're at four now. So we're just over halfway through and we have four skin scrolls. Five, all right, so we're at five skin scrolls. All right, come on, keep them coming, keep them coming. Oh man, we're at five. We have 15 more after this. Whew. Let's see here. Oh, we just got two there. So now we're at seven. So um, now that we're at seven, uh, Tristan is knocked out. The person that's in the lead right now is It's Mikey because he gets eight. All right, so we're at seven. Uh, so one more and It's Mikey is uh, perfectly on, on point. All right, come on, put three in one. I love when you get three skin scrolls all in one. Katie gets 10, that's, that's, that's what I guess as well. We only have 10 more chests and right now we have seven. Oh my gosh, we are having like the worst luck. We have eight more after this. Okay, so now we're at eight. So um, It's Mikey is perfectly on, on par. If It's Mikey, uh, if there's one more skin scroll then It's Mikey gets knocked out and it goes to Angelo. Ooh. Okay, okay, there we go. We got one more. So now we're at nine. So it's Mikey is knocked out. Angelo is now on point with nine. We only have six more. Ooh, come on. Oh my gosh, we have four four more. Okay. Oh <laughs> Angelo is on point. I, I went with 10. Uh, Katie also guessed 10. I'm kind of hoping this 10 or more. I'd, I'd be fine with like, you know, a lot more. Oh my gosh. Last one, guys. Last one. Here we go. Oh, so Angelo got, was the closest without going over. We got a total of nine out of, uh, what was that? 39 spins which I don't think is bad. It's a 6.7% chance you get three chests out of each roll. Uh, so that's three chances at 6.7% each. So that's like 19%. So one out of five chests should, should get you one. So if that was 40, then we should have gotten eight. We ended up with nine. Um, so not, not bad overall. We're going to go check out the Coliseum because it looks like we had our first ever Clash of Fan Thanes battle. Uh, and we are now at 160 skin scrolls, so that is awesome. <laughs> it's Mikey was uh, upset because it went over just by one. So Angelo, congratulations. Now let's go check out the Coliseum. It looks like Katie beat us. Um, 
All right, so our very first Things versus Things uh, Battle Royale. Uh, I'm just going to uh, go change my defense real quick because, uh, yeah, I, I don't want to get caught in, in, with, with, with a fight with Things. All right, so now that we have all that situated, let's go see the, how close this fight was. I actually killed some of Katie's stuff. All right, all right, I will take that. So Katie, Katie has a couple advantages over me. So first of all is Katie. Second of all, she has level 18 things. And they have, uh, they have so much health. They have 74,000 health. Look at their attack, 128,000 attack. These are some of the most tanky things in the world. Our Thanes are level 17. We have uh, 53,000 uh, health. I'll show you the full details. If we look at the full details, you can see here, uh, their accuracy isn't very high, their evade isn't high. And our Thanes have 88,000 attacks. So Katie's is slightly stronger than me. It looks like she even has higher level Siege. Wow, she, she has a lot of Thanes too. All right, so Oh man, wait, where's our gold? She even took down our gold. All right, so if we look at uh, damage dealt, her things did a ton of damage. What, what? How did they tank so much? How did they tank so much? All right, so let's go jump in and see what unfolded with this. This is one of the replays that I have been looking forward to the most. The first ever Clash of Thanes. All right, so it looks like, okay, so Katie has a very conservative for formation. Ours in this top area, we really wanted our um, siege engines to just blow up everything. Uh, and our siege started off doing pretty good, but they could not cut through the Thanes fast enough. I was imagining that the this uh, squad of uh, siege was going to make it through the Thanes faster. On the opposite side, so you can see Katie is cutting through our things uh, definitely a lot faster. And I thought going with Dwarf, our siege engines would actually work a lot better. Now, uh, Katie has fully collapsed our bottom side and her she is now run, running up with her things. Uh, the things now have a moral boost. There is nothing scarier in the world than seeing things with a moral boost. Uh, now they're onto the gold siege, which I thought that was going to give me enough of an advantage. So even though the siege is like really strong as far as like compared to Thanes, uh, the Thanes are still actually surprisingly tanky. All right, so now we need to dissect and we need to figure out what we can do uh, better. So if we look at everything, her Avalon was set up, um, so she's got the dexterity. Uh, her Elena has the dragon stuff. Okay, so she she did not switch over her um, our, uh, Prisms uh, we did not either uh, so like our Vega has nothing our Crims has nothing. So uh, this was a very fair fight um, When we make the video for the clash of Thanes, this is going to be the example piece that we are going to use uh, Absolutely massive Katie amazing fight. We got our first Thanes fight um, absolutely awesome. All right, so we have uh, about 50 seconds until, uh, yeah, Clash of Fate, until Minds of Mayhem comes up, and then we can hop in. Uh, let's go check out that, that re replay again, because that was, uh, that was just amazing. I want to see how Katie collapsed our bottom side. Maybe it was a, a positional um, mistake on our end with our formation. Uh, so we can see right away her siege is just so much stronger than mine. Uh, she's two levels higher with, with her catapults. So her siege actually just collapsed the, the bottom. I, I don't think it was a formation uh, issue with us as much as her siege having like two higher levels. So ours is 14, hers is 16. Uh, now if we hop out real quick, uh, if we look at the damage difference, so the attack on her silver is 1.6. Uh, our silver is 1.0. 1, 1 but we did have a gold, and our gold actually had a 2.4. So I think I could have curved it uh, a little bit more in our favor if we had all gold siege, which is crazy. 
Uh, so is Mikey said the scariest thing to see is when the random goblins are all around the map um, and then they get morale. They have five minutes left in the mines. Good luck, uh, Muhammad. You have got this. So what, once more for the Thanes versus Thanes clash of Thanes battle. Uh, so Katie actually has two, four, six, seven. She has seven packs of Thanes out there. That is a lot of Thanes. So we we cut through pretty well. We took down one whole pack of Thanes right from, from the boost from Warhorn, but it, it, it wasn't enough. So I think we need the solid Thanes uh, fr front line. I think Katie's on to something with that. Now we also front lined our, our Elena. I was hoping our Elena could do some decent damage, uh, but it doesn't look like Elena does much damage. There we go. The first time we are trying to get a damage dealing Elena. So our siege with, with like that lineup of taking down that one pack of Thanes was the reason why we got the early moral boost. Uh, but K Katie sustained through all of the damage and she ended up coming out and she was able to do, uh, she, she was able to, to, to get the win. So really, really good fight to uh, Katie. All right, let me just make sure I have the right uh, dragon deployed um, and I wanna see why I'm tagged. Oh, okay. And let's go jump into the Minds of Mayhem. Uh, bum, 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 bum. We have 60 seconds. Uh, so Muhammad said, this is my first time around on uh, Earth region. I was used to playing on fire, so didn't, didn't know how much stronger your players will be. Yeah, so I, I usually go for, well, I always go for Earth because of the timing for, for the live stream. Uh, I don't know about the other... Uh, time zones and who usually plays there. I only know right now there's one player in here that uh, that that we know. I know Crazy King J has the same time. Um, I know he also does not have Thanes, so we can't keep practicing with with the Thanes. But it will be fun. I'm going to try and find Crazy King J and get into a fight with him uh, as a friendly fight. All right, guys, so here we go. Uh, we are going to go on out and see who we can find. Looks like VN uh, is, is here. Uh, so that is somebody that we can definitely go uh, go fight. Uh, we'll pick up something so that people know that we're here. Oh, T Taz is here as well. That will be interesting to see if Taz actually fights us. Uh, we also have, oh, oh, Achilles is here. Okay, cool. I, I, I like going up against them in the uh, dual tower. They're also on the same, same server. Uh, really cool dude. There is two symbol person that, that is also here. Uh, so, so far nobody's uh, popped up on the map yet. Uh, Magic T is here. Uh, so we'll try and get a fight with Magic T as well. Uh, still, oh, I see the first person on the map. Uh, so we are going to run on over to them. Uh, see if we can get into a fight. All right, so we uh, just uh, attacked uh, Taz. Um, we'll see if Taz accepts the fight and uh, we will have a, a nice little fight with Taz. Um, as far as the uh, the chat and everything, uh, we have Spider saying, uh, who should I contact if I am interested in joining Blood Moon? I would get a hold of either Chip or Chan. Uh, either one of them. So if you go to the server 117 under the server tab stuff uh, and then select um, uh, the green kingdom, look for Chip and or Chan and send them a message and uh, they will uh, get back to you about join joining up with Blood Moon. Muhammad said that I will miss your minds. Ramal said, why, why don't you chase for first uh, rank this time? Uh, you will get so many fights. I, I just want to have some fights with friends. Uh, James said, why aren't you competing for the crystals? Um, the crystals, as awesome as, as they are, they, I, I really don't need them, uh, if that makes sense. Um, I'm, I'm here just trying to practice for fights. There is no dual tower this week, and I, I much rather try, try to get into some fights with some friends. 
So let's see if Taz deploys anything. So Taz did, so really good job for Taz. Um, they have double Elena, so let's see how, how this works out. It looks like they have a uh, frontline is their dragon. So we are going to start off by trying to t tag their dragon. We instantly get the uh, proc from the dragon, uh, which is awesome uh, for us. So we're going to do a giant leap in with our Rufio. We got their Nora, we got their Jax, and we got uh, their, their Snipers. Um, so our Rufio is currently uh, down. Okay. So now we're going to put out a black hole. We took down their, their dragon, so we just want to kind of stun up all of their, their Snipers. Uh, they had their Rufio in pretty deep. He's spinning around with our Jax, but our Snipers just shot him down. Uh, now our, our Jax is doing his uh, spray and pray, and uh, Jax is just going to mow down everything over there. Our Badger goes in deep. Uh, so Taz, I, I think uh, we have beat by, I, I don't know, uh, maybe 200k core, and uh, looks like we, we did pretty, pretty good going up against them. So great job, Taz, if you're watching this, man. Uh, you did uh, fantastic. So now we're just going to do a little reload. That, that way our snipers uh, can do some more damage and speed up the, this victory. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll give uh, Taz the thumbs up. Uh, Spider said, was the dragon armor worth the money? Uh, they said that they heard it cost about 200 uh, American dollars. Um, so for the people that got it in 200 American dollars, uh, I think it, it was very much worth it for them. For us, it was $960 and it was not worth it at all. All right, so we're going to go up against, uh, uh, VN. Um, we'll see how we do going up against them. So they're right around, uh, our same core power. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do the, uh, same exact thing. Um, hmm. Uh, the only difference is I'm going to pull the dragon down just a little bit. All right, so let's go up against them. Let's see how this goes. Spider said, holy cow. Yes, it was not a fun time getting Actually, I didn't mind the time getting the dragon armor. I think that was a lot of fun. Uh, looking at the credit card statement afterwards in shock. Uh, yeah, that was not fun. I will not do that again. All right, so going up against VN, we won all sets except for magic. It really doesn't matter. Lich only needs to win magic. And it looks like for this bottom side, they have one pack of warlocks. So we're going to need to... Uh, Blast on through real real quick. We, we're gonna make quick work of this bottom side uh, So that means we need to get our Rufio in deep uh, Hopefully kill off as many of the warlocks as, as possible. We're going to be completely fine on our stall side um, As long as our Rufio stay, stays alive. Uh, so we got a really nice uh, ni nice big uh, Leo Sprite proc towards the middle of the back of uh, VN stuff. Our Rufio entered again uh, and we're actually going to spin our Rufio forwards. That way he just blows up some more stuff down there. So we did lose our, our Gan. Uh, so now we just need our, our Ophidius to, to, to stay up. Um, and then we're going to get our Jax going. So their, their Rufio is now in the back line of us. Uh, we're going to drop our Bazarix Bat Splits down uh, on top of the Warlocks towards this uh, bottom side. Uh, because we, we really want to... Uh, try and take out all of those warlocks that could jeopardize our dragon. Uh, next, we're going to drop another one down. Um, okay, so we took out their Rufio. So their Rufio is down, uh, so that's a super good thing for us. Uh, we have the reload, so it, I think we we pretty much had have this fight. It's just going to be a matter of time. I don't know where their o Ophidia is, um, so that could be the only problematic thing. Uh, however, we're tanking up very, very well. Our Denji's in, in deep. We just got um, both protection procs just came out, so so that's uh, that that's not bad for us. Um, that's it. It just kind of is, uh, if, if that makes sense. Uh, we're now going to tag their 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 dragon. See, okay, so their dragon is now down because they have no protection proc on it. Uh, we still have plenty of. Um, 
max up we still have our dragon up so this is just going to be a slow crawl of a win going up against uh, vn now this player did a fantastic job uh they're in the legendary immortals house uh fantastic house so uh re really good for them to come up and uh and, and actually fight so now it, it's just a slow wipe and uh yeah, uh, our mechs did a, a great job tanking. Great job all, all around to VN. And I think before that we got Taz. So now we're going to go try and find uh, Crazy King J, uh, see if we can find Achilles, and uh, yeah, go, go from there. Have, have some fun with, with all of this. So we're going to run on down here. And let's see if Ares will, will do a fight with us. So Ares is actually from, from Blood Moon. They're, they're a super awesome person. Um, so yeah, it, it would be fun to, to have a fun fight going up against Ares. So we're going to go with our normal formation. We're going to send that one on up there. And real real quick, uh, while we are waiting, we have another gift code. So this gift code is going to be 5643NED75J. Again, that is 5643NED75J. That is 5643NECOECHODELTA75JACK. Uh, First person to enter this code gets 300 Lunari, all that other good stuff. Let me know in the chat if you guys end up getting this code. Uh, we're going to go fight Ares right now. And Ares is a really good player, uh, an awesome teammate, so uh, I'm totally fine if we lose here. So it looks like we, we actually won in Samna, which I will take. Uh, his Rufio is actually pretty, pretty, pretty close to... Uh, to us, um, so that is uh, not a lot of fun. Whoops, uh, I guess we're, we're skipping that for now, and we're going to go with, oh my gosh, we could not do the troop duplication. There we go. So now we're going to do the troop duplication finally. That, that only took forever. Uh, so our Rufio is down, unfortunately. Uh, tons of damage is coming out, so Ares cleared out our bottom side, so a a Ares is going to be able to, to get us. Ooh, really, really good job, Terry's. He went super fast through our uh, th through our soul side. Uh, his dragon moved moved up. Uh, protection proc came out from ours. He he's he's got this fight. Really, really good job. So I think us missing the the troop duplication cooldown that really kind of set us behind in the whole tempo of this fight. And Ares was just able to take advantage of that. If I'm going to lose to somebody, I'm happy it was Ares. Oh, uh, we're going to go deposit our sub real quick. Uh, right now we are ranked 11th. So we're actually super low. And we're going to go find uh, this person who has, oh geez, that, that, that's Ares. Ares, you need to go uh, put all of your stuff in the thing. Go Ares, go, you need to, to put, put it all in. All right, so up here we have a couple people fighting there. Uh, we're going to, actually, let's go find the event leader and see if they want to go for a fight. Uh, so we'll ask them, see, see if they want, they want to fight real quick. Uh, so they did not want to fight us. Um, all right, uh, let's see here. We'll head on over to here, see if the next person wants to. Uh, th this guy's a little bit smaller. I'm, I'm sorry, man. Um, so Crazy King J said, bottom hospital. I will be right there, Crazy King J. Uh, Spider said, I have all true prism except for true amethyst, the purple one. Should I get one or skip it all together? Uh, I would get one. That way you can get uh, turn the tide. Turn the tide is huge. Uh, Mufasa said that they got the code, so congratulations Mu Mufasa for, for uh, getting the code. That is absolutely amazing. 
So Crazy King J said uh, bottom hospital, so we will hang out here for Crazy King J to come by. And then we can lose horribly to Crazy King J. <laughs> That's pretty much the, the story of my life. Uh, unless there's another bottom hospital. Nope, I, I think this is the only one at, at, the, at, at the bottom. I do not see you, Mr. Crazy King J. Uh, okay, so I guess Crazy King J is here, but he can't see us. Although it's really weird because I don't see him on the, the, the leaderboard. Oh, so we're at the same times, but in different minds. Okay, so uh, he is not currently in the minds with us. Oh, that, that, that's unfortunate. I really wanted to get my butt kicked by Crazy King J. <laughs> All right, let, let's try going up against a human player. Uh, so this guy is right around our core power. Oh, so Crazy King J is in a minds with uh, Crying, and we're in a minds with uh, VN. So we're, we are sadly in two different minds. All right, so loading to in a fight there. I saw somebody else running up this way. Ooh. Uh, maybe they'll retreat and give you more of the stones or maybe they'll fight. Okay. So they, they, they ran, uh, which is fine. We can keep putting on a little bit more stones here, a little bit more stones there. Uh, so now let's see if we, we can go find somebody else. Uh, I saw some stuff disappear there. Oh, so there, there's Magic T. Uh, see if Ma Magic T want, wants to have a fight. That stinks. I, I was looking forward to going up against Crazy, Crazy King J. He, he is really, really good. So that, that was one, one of those things like I... I was looking forward to, to losing that fight. Ah, uh, so Ares won going up against loading. Good job, Ares. Uh, Ramal said goblins in one minute, so we will keep our eyes out for, for the uh, for the goblins. And we will go up against, uh, I think this is Magic T. Give Ma Ma Magic T plenty of time to set up their formation, hop on the stream, see, see what the formation is that we're using, if that's what they want to do. Uh, and then we can get into a, a, a fight. Uh, I have a feeling Magic T is probably going to beat us. All right, so we got all stats except for Magic. Uh, let's go see the uh, setup. So it looks like uh, it actually looks pretty good for us as long as we get the tag. Okay, so we were able to get off the, 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 the tag. Uh, I think we will be able to... Oh my gosh. Okay, so we got there, Dragon. We got a nice deep uh, Rufio's uh, leap. Okay, it wasn't super deep, but it was deep enough for me. We spin the Rufio. We got a nice little stun up. Uh, we got a nice little Leo's pride proc. We're spinning the Rufio back in. If we can get some more stuns, we can keep our dragon alive. Okay, cool. We got another nice uh, stun right there. Our Bane is now super deep, and the Bane is actually targeting all of the snipers. Uh, so this one is over now. Magic, Magic T, re really good fight. If you watch these, uh, you, you did really, really good. I'm surprised that our tag went through because that protection proc was pretty much like instant at the start of the fight. Um, so that, that is a, a little surprising to me. Um, I'll take it. Uh, I, will, I, I will gladly take it. Maybe as the lag of, of it all, but I will gladly take that. So Ramal uh, told us that we do have uh, goblins in a minute. So I need to see if we lost any heroes. Uh, if we need to go okay so that was flawless we, we don't need to worry about anything 
Uh, okay, I think we, we missed uh, the, the goblins. However, there is a player down here. All right, so let's try VN again. Uh, they do have uh, 264 crystals. Uh, they are Lich. Now, you can never take Lich lightly because Lich is a very, very strong grace. Uh, so if we do the, the previous one, um, all right, so what happens if we do the last one? All right, so I think what we're going to do for this one is we are going to swap these and then we're going to go up, up against him. So I don't know if they're going to swap sides. We swap sides. So that means uh, they had double packs of uh, Warlocks on this top side. So if they don't swap, then we're actually at a disadvantage. If they do swap, then it, the fight should be similar to the one before. Ramal said, get ready for another Goblins right after this fight. All right, we'll, we'll do. Uh, so VN might be able to get us this. Okay. Oh, so they actually fully swapped. So we're actually in a, a pretty good position right here. So we're, uh, we're going to go for all of this. It doesn't, okay, so they did not tag our dragon. Uh, we did, uh, we, we skipped the black hole, uh, which is usually uh, super important to keep the dragon up. The dragon is now super low. They are getting uh, significant damage onto our dragon. We're going to do the, the Rufio spin. Uh, Leo's pride proc was uh, good, it was not great. So our dragon is still pre pretty low, although there is no tag on the dragon. Uh, so we went back in, uh, we got another nice little, little stun up there. Um, so far we're doing okay-ish. Uh, we could be doing a, a lot better. Um, they have the, their, their Rufio in uh, really, really deep as well. Uh, now we have our Jax going, so uh, it doesn't matter. They killed off our Jax and now we are moving over. Okay, they killed off everything that we had that had uh, the tag ability. So for right now, we have no tag. So if we are to kill Vian's dragon and we lost our Basrix, this is actually a tough spot that we're in. Uh, and we lost our uh, Ophidia. We're losing a lot of our backline heroes. Uh, we have to hope that our snipers just go right after that Azure dragon. If their dragon stays unchecked, we're in major, major issues. Uh, we do have temporary repair going and we have our, we still have our Nora up, which is huge. Uh, okay, so Nora is somewhat hitting the dragon. Um, we're now going to do the overload uh, for the max, hopefully clear out the skeletons. We took down their dragon, so now we're, we're fine. We, we got this. Good job to VN. Uh, th that's pretty good that we swapped everything. Uh, so that, that allowed us to, to get in a nice little win going up against uh, uh, VN. So I, I think uh, I, I think that that, that that is pretty good. I don't know why they're not tagging dragons, um, but that's fine. We did not tag theirs either. So VN, really good fight, man. All right, so we took uh, some crystals from them. The, after that one, we absolutely need to go heal up. All right, and let, let's see if, um, let's see if uh, Achilles wants to have a fight. They are in a house called Karen Smashers, which by the way is the best name for, for a house. Um, I really like this guy. Uh, I, I don't know him. Um, I fought with him a lot in the dual tower, and I, I just really like him. Uh, <laughs> and then being in the same server as him, uh, I, I really, I, I really enjoy play, playing around this guy. All right, so let's see how we do here. All right, so. Oh my God, you guys want, want to know why uh, it, everything worked so well earlier? Uh, why that tag went through? Because of the three-star hourglass. So if you guys watched uh, t today's video, then you guys already know that, um, oh, so we, we lost our Rufio. Uh, looks like our dragon is taking quite, quite a bit of damage. Enemy still has their Rufio alive. Uh, they took down our dragon, uh, so 
They are doing a fantastic job. We're going to try and get our Jack spray, spray and Pray going. Their Dragon is still dropping down. Uh, I don't think we, we have enough to actually push all, all the way through. Their Bazarus is also going down. A lot of, uh, we, we have a lot of issues going on right now. Uh, I think uh, their Belrog is still up and, and their Nora is up. So uh, they are going to be able to, to take us out. Uh, really, really good fight, man. Uh, ho hopefully he, he's watching. Um, good, good, good fight to Achilles. Again, I don't know him. I just know him from, from battling up against him uh, rather frequently. And he just seems like an awesome dude. Oh, so Ares is here saying, hi, OGC is Ares' son. Uh, so nice to see you, Ares' son. I, I hope that, that you're doing pr pretty good today. You kicked my butt pretty hard. Spider said, about how many Lenari do you need for 1,000 spins um, or 500 spins? You need about, uh, I think it's 96 to 97,000 Lenari. Uh, it, it's it's qu quite a bit of Lenari needed. All right, so which direction did that person go in? Oh, they, they went right by me, jeez. I need to clean my glasses, I guess I'm blind. All right, so we're going to go up against Magic T again uh, because they have a bunch of uh, Crystals and Magic T did not want to fight. Ooh, ooh. Ramal, I got you. I got you for the go Goblin Thieves. Thank you, Ramal. You are a lifesaver. Let's run on over. Oh, somebody, somebody already got to that one. Who's getting this one? Come on, somebody has to be there. Oh, poor Magic T, I, I am sorry, man. I am sorry. I feel bad now. I I should not have hit them a second time. Uh, all right, so we're just going to jump 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 right in. Um, so Ma Magic T does the same. So it looks like it's Power Side versus Power Side. Uh, uh, Snod is here. So so nice nice to see you, man. I, I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Uh, looks like they have an Azure in this uh, top side. Uh, so we're going to drop down a earthquake on that top side. See if we can do uh, do do some damage with that. Then we're going to jump in with our Rufio, kind of land it towards all of those heroes in in the middle, and then we're going to start spinning our Rufio over. Uh, see if we can get some damage down onto those backline snipers. Uh, Leo's Pride proc should come out and. Okay, it, it looks like it did, did some, some decent damage to, to the snipers back there. We're spinning the Rufio again. We hit up with a, another stun. Uh, so now we have one more spin with the, the, the Rufio. Hopefully we can drop down some more of those snipers as soon as the Leo's Pride comes out. Uh, but it looks like uh, they were able to actually kill off... Um, looks like they, they were able to kill off our, uh, our, our Rufio before he could do the, the, the Leo's Pride proc. So our Denji is actually uh, super deep right now. I want to get the Jax going uh, because as long as our Jax is going, uh, then we, we have this as a win. Uh, T, good fight. Sorry, I, I should not have uh, attacked you a, a, a second time. I do feel bad. Uh, so we also have... Uh, it's not one saying uh, that they like our content. Uh, thanks, man. I, I hope that um, I hope the the content or the channel kind of helps you out uh, throughout your in, entire journey here uh, on Art, Art of Conquest. Uh, if, if it doesn't help you out directly, then I hope that it helps you with. Uh, I, I hope that it gives you some entertainment value, perhaps, or I don't know. Thank you. I, I, I'm glad that. Uh, I'm glad that you, that that you like it. Oh jeez, I thought I got him. So did he go up or left? He went left. He went left. All right. So if we can win this fight, then we actually might place pr pretty high. This guy has a lot of crystals. 
Uh, I'm sure that he's going to want to fight now because um, it would probably be in his best interest. If he doesn't fight, he's just going to hand over a ton of crystals. Uh, and if he beats us, he's going to get a ton of crystals as well. So looks like he's going into the fight, which is huge. Um, we're going to put out our formation. Uh, before we fully jump into this one, we have one more code for, for you guys at home. First person to enter this code gets all of the Lenaria of the code. This can only be uh, redeemed by one person. So first person to enter this, guess it. It is 56ZZJHHZ6T. Again, that is 56ZZJHHZ6T. Phonetically, that is 56 Zulu Zulu Jack Hotel Hotel Zulu 6 Teriyaki. <laughs> All right, now, now let's hop into this fight and go up against this player. James said, how long are you going to be live for? Uh, about 5 to 10 more minutes. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping, on a personal note, I'm hoping to be alive for 50, 60 more years. Um, ideally, uh, but as far as like a live video stream, probably five, ten more minutes. <laughs> All right, so we're going up against a two symbol person. Uh, we do have uh, quite, quite, quite a bit of, of an advantage um, going up, up, up against them. So we're going to uh, up. See, I already messed up. I messed up pretty, pretty bad right there. So my mistake with that was uh, I put my snake uh, from Ophidia in the wrong spot and uh, I also, okay, cool, we, we got the sun off. I, I also started off with Earthquake. I should just sun Denji. I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference. I, I'm pretty pretty sure we, we just collapsed this dude's uh, power side. We also have them beat by like a million core power, so... Um, I mean, regardless, this dude did amazing. I mean, me going up against somebody with a million core power higher than me is, uh, that, that's, uh, I would just write, write that off as like a loss. So for, for this guy to do it, um, I give him a lot of credit. Uh, so we should be able to finish this one, and we'll just uh, fin finish out the the uh, match with um, with how however many uh, crystals we have at the end of this. Saba said, "Yes, it's aggravating when uh, duel is initiated and the player is offline after grabbing a goblin thief." Uh, so James said, "Someone is fast. Uh, I'm assuming for 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 the codes." Uh, so. Oh, okay, so Mind's Mayhem ended, so he uh, he might have actually got, got in a way with uh, holding on to all of it, which I'm, I'm happy for them if they did. Yeah, so we came in eighth place, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that they got away with it. Uh, uh, Saw once said, been following your videos for the past four months. I am free to play, and your tips help me to be top five in core power in my server. Keep up with your good job. Uh, man, I am happy for you. Keep up, uh, keep up the really good work. I highly recommend stay free to play. Uh, if you make any purchases at all, lifetime Patreon, regular Patreon, jacks, and subscription. That's it. If I could redo it, that's the only money I would put into the game. Uh, anything beyond there is just purely for ego and for show. Um, you can do perfectly fine with those four things and have a lot of fun in the game. Build up a strong house, get some good relationships with, with other people. That will give you the most joy playing the game. So with that, guys, uh, please uh, please consider subscribing. We're getting really close to 5K subscribers. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this guy over here just casually standing over there. We have Toby over here with the uh, fire kitty mount just casually standing there. Uh, I don't know if Toby's watching this. Congratulations, Toby. Um, that is absolutely amazing. Uh, that is huge. So that is uh, that is, that is wild. Spider said, "What what race uh, you recommend for someone with a perfect Azur dragon?" I am currently playing human. I think Azur is relatively universal, kind of like with the Onyx dragon. So uh, it can work with you for pretty much what, whatever race. I think the best race for it is Sylph. However, uh, I don't think Sylph is a viable race for anybody. I think Sylph is only a viable race for whales. If your heroes cannot single-handedly win you the fight, then Sylph is not for you. Uh, 
Dwarf, uh, you, you guys saw, I think that was Ares. Ares kicked my butt in the mines using a, in the Zerg Dragon. So I, I think that that can work at, as well. Um, oh, uh, uh, Nicholas, th thank you so much for, for subscribing, man. I, I hope you in enjoy your time here. Uh, yeah, so I, I think pretty, pretty much anything can use the uh, Zerg Dragon for humans. The Jade is definitely the top, and I, I would still put the Onyx as, as a really good dragon. Uh, but Azur can be used for pretty, pretty much anything. Oh, and, and, and there, there's Ares over, over there. We're, we're surrounded by good people. Yeah, if you guys want to have fun in the game, surround yourself with good people. Uh, consider subscribing so we can hit the 5K subscribers. In the description of all the videos, uh, except for the streams, we have... Um, Patreon page. Thank you very much to the Patreons out there. We have the Discord, we have Facebook, and we have the merch store. As far as the stream videos, we have a link to support the stream. If you guys uh, ever felt inclined to, go for it. If you don't want to, that's perfectly fine. Um, and yeah, with, with that, guys, I hope you guys have a fantastic night. Thank you guys for joining us. Hopefully, I was able to answer some questions for y'all. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys again soon. Also, as a side note, we have one, one more gift code for the people that suck around. So here is the last gift code. It is 56CP8DIGVR. Again, that is 56CP8DIGVR. Phonetically, that is 56 Charlie Panda 8 Delta Indigo Golf Victor Rodrigo. OGC girl, was I close? She said I nailed it. 